So if you had to do a blame pie, I'm, I, matter of fact, I'm getting this from um, Mason in Ireland. They host a show on ESPN 710 AM where they have this thing called the blame pie. And I was asked an interesting question about who, how is the blame pie divided for the Lakers organization for the current state that the Lakers are in? And I gave 35% to Jim Bus for obviously not taking a chance on hiring Phil and just making bad coaching decisions like hiring bad coaches um, what else uh, Jeannie Buss 35% because she won't get over to Phil Jackson is not the head coach or basketball operations guy for the Lakers she won't look past that she's so deeply hurt and bitter about it that her and um Jim Buss don't get along and it's just not working out for what's best for the Lakers um, and she also has the power to just fire uh, Jim Buss she has that power she could just say you know what sorry you're fired you, you, I'm sorry your time here is, is done she could do that but I think she's honoring her father's wishes so she's not going to fire uh, this guy. So she's equally responsible because she could always fire this guy if she feels like he's not uh, responsible or he's not doing what he's supposed to do. She could always be like, you know what, this is this a wrap for you. But she she, she keeps him, and they need to, they really need to work that out. Whatever beef they differences they have, they need to work that out because it just looks very unprofessional and it looks like. They just need to both meet. That's why they're both equally responsible because they both need to just work this out. It's, it's really ridiculous. If you're not gonna sell the team, try to work this out. Try at least on the business level. And I, I'm not saying that they don't have that business relationship, but it's it's ugly when your brother and sister and they're both responsible. They need to work that shit out because it's, it's ridiculous. Um. And I give Byron Scott 15% because Byron Scott uh, is just not really developing the rookies how he should and, and letting Kobe run amok doing what he wants to do. And um, Kobe, I blame him for 15% because of his, his errant play. Shooting all of these shots for no reason. Um, he knows he's not helping the rookies. Now, the rookies do sit back and they look at him and they're like, kind of stare, like, wow, this is a great Kobe Bryant. Even D'Angelo Russell came out and said, oh, uh, this, I'm a fan of Kobe. But Kobe and Byron Scott are equally responsible because they're playing this game where Kobe gets to do whatever he wants to do. Byron Scott's enabling Kobe, and Kobe knows that his play. He, he, he's an intelligent man. He knows that his play is not helping the rookies. And I don't blame him for taking that contract. So that's why I didn't give him. Because if somebody offered you $25 million, would you turn that shit down? Hell no. And I know you guys are saying, oh, with the Spurs and Tim Duncan took a pay cut and all of these other guys taking pay cuts. Um, there's no guarantee when you take a pay cut that you're going to get a championship. It just doesn't work like that. Now, you know, you do have a case where uh, Tim Duncan is willing to come off the bench. He's willing to do everything. He's more submissive. And I think Tom Brady took a pay cut. And they, I mean, they, well, they both got rings. But if you're getting paid that much money and they're not telling you what direction they're going to go, I mean, shit, you're just going to take the money. So I'm not mad at him for that. So, uh, uh, so uh, that's that's where I think the current state is. You know, Brian Scott is responsible because when you're developing rookies, you can't show favoritism. And Byron and Brian, uh, Kobe Bryant should be, you know, hey, man, I, 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 hey, look, man, you guys, you know, push. I know I'm not saying he's not pushing D'Angelo Russell, but he should be more like about the younger guys. 
since this is being his last year and he knows that, you know, hey, I, I can't carry the team by myself anymore, that he should be a little bit more open to letting them run and take over. But that's not in Kobe. That's never going to happen. So, yeah, that's 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 my uh, opinion about the blame pie. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Medi Star. Peace.